Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we uh, check out uh, the QS admin menu. Um, and I show you how to set up the admin menu and make sure um, what we can do with the admin menu and uh, how we set up the Discord bot for the QS admin menu. So what we need to do is first uh, we create a new application on the Discord developer portal. I also uh, put the link in the video description. Um, now we have to name the board. Let's say QS admin menu. This is from my private board. And I agree. So now we have as a uh, application now we go on board here you can also rename the board if you want uh, we set the token and uh, now we have to enter our password or ff2 I was then we copy the token and go back into our server files I read config lua Now we have the token, we place it here, then the applic, um, we need uh, the guild ID, this is the guild ID, the server ID, copy them, if you don't get that, uh, go to the settings, um, advance it and enable the developer mode here. Then we go back in our server files. Uh, we have to say the grid ID with that. Then we need the god ID. That, that means the role. So the boss role or master role or uh, what you want. Only make sure that everyone who has the role has automatically uh, every permissions on the uh, admin menu. So I have created already in row. So copy the role ID here. Go back here. Then we have place it here. Set also custom Discord to zero. Then we have to invite the board to our server. Oh, I already use this link. Um, you got it on installation. You also can use this, but I don't like that. That's kind of messy. And sometimes the bot in, don't install or don't join. I don't know. So, uh, oh, I've copied the wrong, wrong link. Uh, let's go back here. I copy that. Uh, here you also have the client ID. Permissions I set on 8. I don't know it's required, but I always uh, put 8 in. That's administrator. So we have the client ID. You get them on the installation here. Uh, yeah, permissions we have 8. Uh, that should work. So we Press enter. Uh, now we select which server the bot should so join. Yeah, he gets the administrator permissions. Yeah, I'm a human. And now we hear the bot is on our Discord. <coughs> so then we go back in our files. Uh, we Open the config JSON and we have to put here uh, our resource files. Uh, for that, we go in TX admin, go on settings, FX server, copy that part, go back here, <coughs> and uh, select this, 
we play through that here we put also resources in then uh we copy this part place it here and this this is for our uh, end feature in the admin menu then we are already ready so here you can uh change the script um which script you had you can add your base the same uh, that you have uh which whether the script you have uh the weather list you want to uh, add in the admin menu what your supporters admins can uh, are allowed to add um yeah so let's see if we make everything right we restart the server and start 5 m so we see the admin menu is started it's detected automatically the framework so in my case uh, is extended uh server json was loaded so let's see very important is the coffee <clears throat> so let's see we type q admin and we get this window most of you will get this window and what we go do then we go into our database i've already selected the database and we delete it i make it bigger so you can read it so we delete as a uh, uh, admin permissions the admin ranks and the admin settings from our database why oh, don't ah uh, i have a uh, wrong one so this one this one and this one now we type here enter qs admin menu yeah and now key so now we open the command again and we see uh it works so what we have here uh we have uh, an overview we have an admin tag here you get an admin tag this uh, admin tag is uh, on your role or permissions detected so here for this example here you have the permissions uh what we can do we can here change it uh, also here all players section garage resources and server console and if you want to create a new one let's say admin so here we can say group admin or uh, or and what we knew to uh, is a discord role let's say uh, we go shop back to discord uh, we go on server settings we click a new role name it let's say admin save it uh, copy the role and place the role id here and we create a new rank so now we can shortly back here and see don't exist okay why it don't exist let's 
space. Ah, it was another issue. Okay, let's. I got penny. So now we can see uh, what he can view. He can view he should view the uh, dashboard. He should this view, this view, this view, this view, or you can select from here. Uh, and say allow or select them here and here and here and here and say no you don't should allow that that you can do it with everything here and yeah so let's go back here so we have quick actions um we can enter keybinds so for the good mode Six week, uh, max mod, clear pads, revolve all you can uh, set and key. Let's say I want here. Uh, let's say we press this one. So, and then I press this. Ah, uh, it's uh, conflicting with my um uh. uh it so let's so uh, ah, it's not working well because uh <laughs> let's say we need coordinate we press this key and press it Uh, what we can do also with the admin menu is uh, vehicles, um, add them or drive them, respond, with garage, so I don't have any vehicles. Here we have our resources, we can stop them, or we the lock console, enter something. Here we have our resources, we can change in the script uh, something from resources and save it. Maybe here and save it. Yeah. This was the admin menu and um, how you set it up and what we can do with that. And I hope you liked the video and I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye.